Welcome back to my channel. Gang, all right, gang, today we finna do reaction to Home Free Man of Constant Sorrow. I'm not gonna lie, y'all, this is gonna be my first time ever hearing this. This is my first time ever hearing this. With that being said, y'all know I'm not gonna hold y'all alone. Make sure y'all like, comment, subscribe, hit notification, but you know, first time I post, make sure y'all follow my social media. It's gonna be down in the description below. And look, I'm about to get right into it. Hey, gang, y'all know what I'm gonna say. What I'm gonna say. We're not gonna judge it. Why? Because we don't know what to expect. With that being said, I'm about to get right into it. I heard a couple things about it. They told me they like it. So I might like it. Oh, I am a man of constant sorrow. I've seen trouble all my days. I've been farewell. How the fuck do he do that? Kentucky, the place where I was born and raised. The place where he. Born and raised for six long years, I've been in trouble. No pleasures here on earth I've found. Oh, in this world, I'm bound to ramble. I have no friends to help me now. Not he has no friends to help him down. First off, y'all, I gotta stop this. I gotta say this, y'all. First off, I'm still trying to figure out how that man made that little noise with his mouth. First off, cause they, hey, they really got me. I don't know how he did that. Second, I love their voice. I don't know. It's like some people, like, I can't explain it. Like, the way some people sing, just instantly, like, make me engage. I like it. I like their voice. I love the storytelling they tell it. And uh, I can relate. Having constant sorrow is not no joke, y'all. It's like, uh, he said, and then I could agree with the part where he said, I have no friends to uh, help me or either help me or hold me down. Either one he said, I could still agree because, um, I don't have no friends no more, y'all. This is crazy. It's fairly well. But it seemed like okay, I kind of explain. It kind of seemed like um, like they thinking the worst or they expecting the worst out of everything. That's what it kind of expect. Like he said, like uh, he said something about like maybe I'll go on a train and maybe I'll die on this train. Then he said maybe you'll meet somebody else while I'm sleeping. But basically, like why you did, we know. But I'm saying it's like they thinking the worst, like of basically having constant sorrow. Even when you was alive, you have constant sorrow. It seemed like when you die. You have kind of I don't know if that makes sense, but if that makes sense to y'all, y'all let me know in the comments or y'all explain to me what y'all feel like all oh, this mean. But I kind of understand that. It's Maybe your friends stay. They all have Count different voices. A stranger, my face you never see no more. Promise 
that is given I meet you on God's golden shore He'll meet you on God's golden shore Hold up y'all now I got a good question for you. He said, I'll meet you on uh, on God's golden shore. Does he mean when, when he basically passed away, when he goes to heaven, is that's what he's referring to? Y'all let me know in the comments because I want to make sure I'm right before I just, you know, give any commentary. But um, if that is right, we're going to let it play out. Then we're going to talk about it. Hold on, y'all. That's crazy, though. Hold on, we gotta go back a little bit, y'all. God's golden shore. He'll meet you on God's golden shore. Here we go. I like the beat most of all, though, y'all. That's crazy. I love that country life though, y'all. Cause I live in Georgia right now, and uh, that's a lot of a lot of stuff they show in this video. A lot of stuff you see, the way like all the grass is, the way how it is, the environment. I like it. I like I don't know. I like to be like kind of secluded sometimes. It give you a peace of mind. But uh, y'all, yeah, like what I got from that is like you can have like it's like I don't know like they was going. Through, it seemed like they're going through so much that you have no choice but to think the worst. Because that's what it seemed like they was thinking. Like, you have constant sorrow, he said, just constant sorrow. Like, every day, he said, for the, every day, like, I have no hope, really. Because, basically, you already kind of know it's going to turn bad. I don't know. It's like, it's a lot that you can really get from this song. A lot you can get really get from. But I really want to talk about the, the, um, the, basically, like, the music, like, the beats and stuff. First off, I know it's a video because sometimes they could just be doing it and it really could be an instrument playing in the background. But I really want to know how, how I don't want to cuss, but how was he making that noise with his mouth? And uh, not only that, I want to talk about uh the fact that we all know, like, they all had like this accent. I like it. I like the accent. But uh, we all know, like, they have different tones of voice. That's another part that pull you in. So many of them, but it's like they all have a different tone of voice. Like the one with the real long hair, like voice deep deep but then you go to another one his voice might be a, like a higher pitch i like it i ain't gonna lie y'all i like it oh uh, i think now this one for sure right here i gotta get this a 10 out of 10 because i just like it that much i'm not gonna lie and it tells a story like i say i like when stuff tells a story with that being said yeah, i'm not gonna lie y'all got anything else from rachel let me know i kind of don't try to react to it. with that being said i'm not gonna hold y'all long make sure i like i'm subscribe in case you don't forget to my post make sure i follow my social media it's gonna be down in the description below and look i'm out